Good morning from Little Rock, Arkansas. I've picked out about three or four antique malls in the Little Rock area I would like to go to before I make my way to Oklahoma. So here's to the first stop of the day on day five of my cross country road trip. Those are fantastic and such fun earrings. Oh my gosh. What's going on in here? Talk about overstimulated. And then look at this pen. That's fun. Six dollars. Sold. And then they have another one here. That one's ten. I know I could still make money on it, but I don't really want to spend ten dollars on that one. Mm, those are fun. What about the... Oh, my purse strap is dangling. What about the little duck? $8? It's just a figurine. It's still so cute. Hmm. I think it might be a little bit... A couple bucks too high for me to feel comfortable. Just because I am going to go to so many places and who knows what I'm going to see today. I'm actually going to go to an antique mall that... Um, Dagny mentioned uh, after this and it looked so epic she gave me like a list of places that were recommended to her she hadn't been so I, if it sucks don't blame, don't blame her um, you can blame me oh my gosh look at this thing what that's so wild um $30. Okay. Yeah, with 20% off, if that was for myself, I wouldn't think twice. That's a great price for a collector. Whoa. Toys, toys, toys. Gosh. I am definitely going to be here for a while. <laughs> this little dog ashtray caught my attention. That's pretty neat. 15 Again, fair for a collector. Ooh. I like this room a lot, a lot, a lot. First thing I see is this C, huh, it's a shaker. Oh my gosh, wait, I love these so much. 15, oh, that's a little too much for me to spend up front, although it's really fair. I know I could still make a couple bucks off it. That style cat usually does really well for me and they're hard to find. And what is this? Barbie girl. <laughs> Not what I thought, but very neat. I just want to like touch everything. <laughs> this is making me really excited for the day. All the fabulous pink glass. And more jewelry. Poker chips. Wait, bake light poker chips. Those are neat. How fun would it be to have like a checkerboard? I mean, a chessboard. Or checkers board. I was right, checkerboard. <laughs> I'm so used to saying checkerboard as a motif, not a game. And I'm also super distracted by everything that's happening in here. <gasps> um, what, dude? Bake light everything. Wow, I love this she's, uh, sea, uh, <laughs> seashell. <laughs> and what's going on with the little, oh wow. That's really fantastic. This looks like a tintype in there too. And the cat mail holder, so much fun. I am really tempted to get this little frame, especially cause the frame itself is vintage. I feel like that's not something you usually see. And it is a tin type, in fact, in, inside of it. There's no extra discount, but I think it's just kind of neat. It's a little bit close in price. Now, I also noticed the Italian 15 firm. Not bad at all. Look at this. Look at this frame. Wait, tramp art frame as is condition? Dude, what? Hold on. So it's got a piece missing, but like, what? 
All right, so it's got that little piece missing at the end, but for $8, I kind of feel like I can't leave it here on principle. That's insane. I've never seen one of these for like under like $90 or something insane. I don't think I'll get the most for it, obviously, because it's got that chunk missing, but nevertheless, who doesn't want... I mean, it's not the most obvious thing ever. This is just bothering me. I'm going to get this. All right. Well, this also caught my attention. Look at how sweet this is. $15. Metal. It, does it come with the little earrings in it? That's so cute. Is there an additional discount? I, I really think this is spectacular. It's really sweet. 20% off. 200 is this 200 it is so for $12 it's not marked firm right yeah $12 I'm gonna yeah it says with earrings that is too cute not to I'm gonna get that and then <laughs> cute but a little too close in price $5 what is about this guy that one's at 25 he's really unique <laughs> wait oh it's cracked that's why <laughs> I'm still very bothered by a couple things in this booth. This box is so pretty. I'm just nervous about it coming apart while I'm on the road. Let's see if the tag is going to pull off more. I hate when they do that. Yeah, so they did kind of add, at least it's on the bottom. It's so romantic. Should I just get it? I'm being so weird about three dollars. It's not the, it's not the money. I'm just nervous it's gonna make a mess. And I'm still in love with that head vase bust back there. Let's let's um, let's see what's in these jewelry cases. So it's like all sterling silver stuff, which is nice, but it's not really what I'm looking for right now. I didn't see any piece that like really caught my attention, especially when like that urn is going on right there. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Look at all the bathing beauties. Oh wow. The mermaid one too. And these fun dog pins. Unfortunately, they're definitely too high for me to do anything with it for resale, but they're fantastic nevertheless. What's this back here? Huh interesting looking oh and i love this candy tin it looks english yeah it is 18 that's about retail on that little rubber face monkey he's only eight dollars but i bought a couple rubber face monkeys and they didn't sell yet what is this giraffe planter seven dollars oh my gosh i've never seen this one sold that is so cute this one half doll in the middle has my attention. I'm gonna see if I can see the price tag on the back side. It's probably expensive. It's really pretty. Yeah, that's definitely a harder to find one. That one's at 50. Oh my gosh, look at those elf things back there. I was taking a second to admire these two figurines. I love the sailor. At 35 firm though, um, that would be probably around what I'd get for that. And it's got some condition issues. The Cowboys need to, but I love the sailor. And I did decide um, that I'm gonna leave that head bust behind because as you guys might've seen maybe in yesterday's video it was or the day before, I will spend money on myself and not think twice about it, but it has to be something that's not like anything I would think twice about, you know? So like that lampshade, I was like, I need, I need this lampshade. That, bust at that price it's just something i'd like <laughs> but i'm waiting for something i need because i'm gonna be at this for a really long time and as you guys see i'm witnessing some incredible stuff oh my gosh that brooch oh i'm such an airhead okay well first of all the little miniature picture was 18 and so was the tramp art frame the tramp art frame was still a deal at $18. If it was for myself, I would have kept it. But I did put those two items back once I realized what the price actually said and that I actually need another cup of coffee, which is what I'm doing now. And then I'm going to go to the antique mall that Dagny told me about. It looks awesome. It's about a half hour drive out of town. 
So I'll see you guys when I get there. And I ended up spending like $54 in there. Psych. <laughs> I was exiting the parking lot and realized there's another one right directly across the street. I'm at Twin City Antique Mall. And I'm starting to get the feeling I'm never gonna get to California. Whoa, the blue one. Oh my gosh, and I'm obsessed with the 1940s bozo puzzle. All items, $5 each. All items, $10 each. Hmm. Aha. 50% off not marked firm. $18, unfortunately. Um, even at 50% off, it's got that nick right on its nose. Bananas. These are... Oh, these are fun. That would be $4. This is probably expensive. 16. So eight bucks. Huh, that's a really good price actually. Although there's something off about it. What? Cash only 30 to 50% off. Oh, that's the most obnoxious thing. I hate carrying cash on me. I inevitably do something weird with it. Oh, I love this. $16, 20% off. Definitely a little bit of everything going on in here, but this, what? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so epic, dude. <laughs> I, love this thing. I've never seen one in quite like this. For $12, I I have to get this. Even if it's just for like Etsy or something, it's it's not going to be left here by me, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, and look at this little girl planter. Oh, she's adorable. $10. Is there a discount? Even though that's totally reasonable. Really fair price. I see a couple little nicks though. Very, very minor. I'm a little bit nervous. Hmm. I think I can get away with it though. I mean, let me inspect it. If it's just that tiny thing right there. $10. Yeah. I think I'm gonna grab her. She's kind of hard to find. I kind of want to grab these, but I'm nervous they'd get damaged somewhere along the way. These vintage muffin cups, $5 for the pair. It's kind of fun. I'm second guessing this. I know, I know. I'm second guessing, I'm being weird. But I'm just thinking about um, the fact that I've seen it before and I've never seen these. I'm feeling like a little cheap today. That's kind of what's going on. $75, ooh. Yeah, I'm feeling a little cheap today. I feel like I've just been spending freely for days and today it's kind of caught up with me a little bit and I'm feeling a little bit like my usual frugal, frugal self. <laughs> ooh. Interesting. And I love these. The other thing that's going on is I saw pictures of that. Oh, that face one school. I saw pictures of the antique mall I'm about to go to. And especially because it's out of the downtown town area, um, I have a feeling it's going to get ugly there. And I love the bookends and of course the celluloid, but alas, it's all priced accordingly. Oh my gosh, look at that Humpty Dumpty 22. Oh, look at this. A cup thing, or no, maybe it's a toothpick holder. It's kind of an evil looking duck. So I know I normally don't do earrings, but those really old beaded ones with the clips are only $6. I'm gonna pick them up because I think they're too fantastic not to. Now I'm paying really close attention. Okay, yeah, they've got some. Ooh my purse again. This thing has a mind of its own. Look at those pink ones. Those are fun, but those beads are really, really old. Oh my gosh. The wheel, that's fun. 
Yeah, those beets are really old. I think I'm gonna grab those. All right, so I spent $19 in there and I am ready to get back on the road and head north towards this fabulous antique mall that I've picked out via way, help with daddy. <laughs>